Hello my dear students. Today I am here to teach you social study. Third part of chapter 3. Changes in the transport system. Water transport. The vehicles that transport people, goods over water bodies such as seas, oceans and rivers are called means of water transport. Boats, ferries, ships and containers are some common means of water transport. Although water transport is one of the cheapest forms of transport for heavy and bulky goods, it is also the slowest. Water transport includes passenger ships, cargo ships and tankers. Passenger ship carry people. Cargo ships carry heavy and bulky goods. And tanker or oil ship carry oil. The places where goods are loaded and unloaded are known as ports. So children, the vehicles that transport people, goods over water bodies such as sea, oceans, and rivers are called means of transport. Okay. So people travel in boat, ferries, ships. Okay. And then containers, oil tankers, all these things. Uh, take different, different things. No, oil tankers take oil. Okay. Boat, ferry, ships carry people. The water transport is the cheapest. But it is very slow. It is the slowest. The place where goods are loaded and unloaded are known as port. So the goods means the things okay, which are loaded and unloaded are known as port. Air transport. Air transport is the fastest and the most expensive means of transport. Some common means of air transport include aeroplanes and helicopters. Aeroplanes can transport people, goods and mail quickly over long distance within a few hours. They land and take off at place called airport. So, air transport is the fastest but the most expensive means of transport. Okay, it is the fastest. Like example, if I want to go to Kolkata, I'll catch a train from New Jalpaiguri. It will take 10 to 11 hours. But if I catch a flight from the Bagdogra airport, it will take 45 to 50 minutes. Okay, so it Air transport is the fastest transport, but it is very expensive. Okay, so air transport includes aeroplanes and helicopter. They land and take off at place called airport. They land and take off at a place called airport. In India, there are two types of airport: domestic airport used for traveling within the same country. International airport used for traveling to other countries. Some major international airport in India includes the Indra Gandhi International Airport in New Delhi, Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport in Mumbai, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose International Airport in Kolkata, Anna Durai, International Airport in Chennai and Kembeng Goda International Airport in Bangalore. Air India, Indigo, Jet Airway and Spice Jet are some of the major airlines in India. So there are two types of uh, airport, domestic airport and international airport. 
domestic airport which you travel within the country like from Kolkata to Delhi, Delhi to Mumbai, Mumbai to Chennai okay and then international airport when we travel to other countries okay and there are some major international airport in Kolkata, Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Bangalore okay Air transport has a number of advantages. It can be used to visit areas and places where railway lines cannot be laid. Aeroplanes and helicopters are used to provide relief to people during wars or natural disasters such as flood or earthquakes. They are used to draw food and other medical supply to the affected people and also to rescue them from unreachable areas so the advantages of air transport when you have the flood or earthquake then the through air transport people reach the people and supply food water medicine and even bring them from those places to a safer place students i hope you understood the chapter please read the chapter there are exercise given below and do them if you have any problem you can discuss with me and ask me thank you be safe and take care of yourself